What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Thirsty Weeb, coming at you with today's Master Lost Sector. It's the empty tank over on the Tangled Shore. This one is a fallen lost sector, so you're going to be dealing with overload and barrier. There are going to be some arc shields and all sorts of fun stuff. On this one, I do recommend, well, on all of them, I do recommend waiting until you have particle deconstruction just to give you that nice little debuff to damage. Um, rocking a bow with uh, Vorpal and Major Spec will make your life a lot easier. Arc Auto Rifle to help with the shields. And then use any heavy uh, fusion rifle that you have. I'm using 1K. I think I might do this differently for the next time it comes around. Just use a legendary one for the ammo economy. Uh, when you first start off, you're going to come straight into an Overload Champion. Real easy. Just take care of him right at the beginning uh, on these i ran it on a stasis hunter a stasis warlock and then on my titan i use sunspots so keep that in mind you could also do a yeet titan if you're feeling real real comfortable with your play style Awesome, after you get him down, you're gonna come into a room that's gonna have a bunch of snipers. It's gonna have one overload champion and one barrier champion. After you take down the overload champion and move in, you are gonna get another wave of adds, so don't push in too far. After you kill this overload, just sit back, get him down, um, and have a good time. If you want, like I do, take out some of those snipers, make your life a little bit easier. Make it so you're not having to dodge quite as much while you try to kill that champion. Awesome. Once you get everything down, run around, get your ammo before scanning with your ghost. Because once you scan the platform, you are going to get an overload champion that spawns in. This one's not super aggressive, but you do want to have a little distance between you and him. 
when he first spawns in because they do like to teleport quite a bit. Awesome. Clean him out. Make sure you get any leftover heavy ammo that you got laying around. Now that primary is unlimited. And then move on. You're going to come into a little maze area. It's going to be dark. There's going to be some thrall in there. And there's going to be some cabal war beasts. Um, if you take out the thrall, you can actually jump on top of uh, the boxes in the back and take care of the war beasts without them touching you. Awesome. Don't let this area scare you. It's meant to be a little surprise haha -ha with ads. So. Once everything's dead, move on through. You can double check for ammo if you keep want. Um, you're going to come up to a ramp. There's going to be some fallen guys fighting a cabal cannon barrier champ. Um, pop his shield that way he's stunned and then focus on killing those snipers because they will ruin your day now once you've got everything dead the cabal guy will start focusing you but you can just head glitch him and not worry about it too much I know it takes a little bit longer than what people like, but if you're running 1K, you really want to conserve that ammo. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of shots, so just pinging him down with primary is the best way to do that. It does take a little bit longer, so if you're running a legendary and you have 21 in the clip uh, for the fusion, uh, you can go ahead and use that on him. Now in this room, I like to sit back on this little hump. It allows you to get some cover on either side and keep you alive, hopefully. But make sure you watch out for those exploding shanks, get them down, take out those snipers. Um, you are gonna get another wave of ads after you finish off this one. There is gonna be an overload here. You'll see him just sitting in my tornado right there. Uh, you want to keep him as far away as you can while you take care of all the ads. So don't worry about pushing up or anything like that. Just keep him, keep him down and get rid of the ads and then kill him off. Once he dies, the next wave of ads will spawn in. Um, so want to make sure that you're keeping that in mind. Now in this wave, you're going to get some melee guys and a barrier champion um, along with some of these wonderful little dogs. They're great. Um, that barrier champion is the shotgun kind, so don't let him hit you in the head. It'll essentially one-tap you at this point in the season. So get the dogs down. Make sure you stay out of line of sight on the uh, champion. Uh, once you have the dogs down, then you can start working on the champion. And this is where the conservation of heavy really comes into play uh, just because you want to get this guy down as fast as possible because keeping him alive is bad for your health. Uh, 
awesome. Once you kill him, that barrier is going to go down. And the boss, there has been a nice little change to the AI here. Um, the boss will actually run out. He used to stay up on that platform. It was really nice. It gave you plenty of time to kill all the ads that came out and then deal with him. But they have changed it to where the boss now comes out of that little room and will mess your life up he will chase you around he is relentless so stay on the move uh, if you have your super use it to freeze him in place so you can get your heavy shots off on him um, but he is pretty persistent in chasing you around you will also have the two barrier champions behind you shooting at you and they'll have a couple um, harpies not harpies shanks shooting at you um, so keep that in mind as you're rolling around try not to stop for too long while you're moving um, here i'm just waiting for my super to come up so i can get him frozen in place and uh, get him down Now that he's dead, you'll want to go ahead and finish off the last of the melee guys that spawn in. Uh, when you damage gate him down, uh, get them down, and then, uh, you know, try not to die to snipers shooting you while you're doing finishers. Uh, but after this, it's easy cleanup. Go kill those last two uh, barrier champions and collect your loot. and we're done 
thank you for watching. If this video helped you at all, please drop a like, drop a subscription. Make sure you follow us over on Twitch to never miss any of the live content. Love you all. Stay thirsty and good luck out there, Guardians.